What's going on guys? My name's Oki Poinky. Thanks for joining us for another one of our episodes. This is uh This is Wildlands, Ghost Recon Wildlands. It's a, one of the games put out by Tom Clancy's group. And man, is this game amazing. Uh super open world. You kind of uh whatever you can see you can go to. Uh vehicles, motorcycles, helicopters, airplanes, what have you. In the normal game, you're stuck with uh, three, three comrades, so there's a group of you of four. And these are the guys you give orders to, the guys that help you firefight, stuff like that. Um, we are pretty, pretty far through the game. We're level 26 at the moment. We've put in, I don't know, 40 hours, 50 hours into it. Uh, and this is, uh, this is our loadout so far. Uh, I've got a cowboy hat on because I was born in Texas, so it hits home. <laughs> uh, for our main, we have an MK-17. I, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, it's kind of like a scar type weapon. Uh, great accuracy, a lot of a uh, lot of um, a lot of damage output by this if you could hit your target. Uh, secondary, we have a light machine gun called the the Lama Lamativo or Yamativo. This is one of the guns picked up uh, from one of the the cartel drug lords or whatever they are. Um, so I picked that up. You can't do any modding to these guns, unfortunately, but you know how they come they're very they're very modded out as you can see already this one's very shiny it's got a uh, it's got a it's got a um, holographic side on it red dot and uh, kind of like a drum mag so that's kind of cool uh, belt fed um, for our for our handgun we're using a 57 USG uh, for we're using this uh, suppressed as, as well as our primary weapon we use suppressed I find that a lot of the fighting, gun fighting we do in this game, I like to get the jump on uh, the group of uh, cartel um, by taking out a handful of their guys first by uh, <laughs> just being stealthy. So, uh, yep, that's what we do. Um, these are the guys you rescue throughout the game. They're locked up by the cartel. You invade certain areas that they're controlled, uh, that they control, and you unlock uh, like these prison type cages that these guys are in. They're kind of the rebels. And uh, these rebels help you fight. You can call them in, stuff like that. So, um, I know they just released a new four by four v four multiplayer. Haven't played that yet, Let's but roll. this game is so fun. Um, basically, this game's premise is like uh, the purple guys on your mini map are, are policemen. Uh, the orange, I believe it's the orange guys on your map are the cartel. And basically, the premise of this game is. Uh, the cartel have become so powerful they started uh, killing policemen and po politicians for uh, for for disturbing kind of their cartel. Oh geez, disturbing their cartel type uh, operations. So the, the the mayor or the president basically told them, you know, if you stop if you stop killing our uh, our policemen, we'll stop we'll stop manhandling you. So it's kind of like let's agree to disagree sort of thing. Um, that's one thing about this game. The um, the uh, the policemen are really heavily armed. They've got the best helicopters though that you can take, and the the, the buggies with the miniguns on top. Uh, they're called Unidad patrols. You can see the upper right. Uh, but oof. a funny thing about this game is that helicopters are insanely easy to shoot down. I don't know if that's just like how they designed it to be. Um, but overall, I, th I, th I don't think, you know, the, the, the unit at patrol or the policemen, the local law enforcement aren't people you want to pick fights with. Um, I mean, they give you XP, but they're a lot heavily, they're a lot more heavily armed and armored than the cartel is. And they just endlessly like throw guys at you. So if you look at the top right, the top right says unit at patrols, you've got four little tick marks. Um, those are basically stars, like you see in Grand Theft Auto. The more tick marks you have, the more, aka, the more your wanted level is. And they'll send, like, choppers after you, tanks, or, uh, heavy, heavy Humvees and stuff. So why don't we get away from that? You can kind of outrun them like you do in GTA. And, um, so you don't have to deal with them. Um, there's a bunch of civilians walking around. You don't want to kill them. So uh, we're level 26. We're we're pretty decent. We're pretty decent. And see, as you can see there, it says Unidad Patrol lost. 
you, you run far enough away from them, they kind of give up, which is fine. Um, so let's go ahead and do some, uh, some missions. I the, the little blue tick marks are basically things you can get. Oh, that's awesome, a light machine gun. I've kind of made it a habit to, um, to collect weapons and weapon parts. It's an extended mag for a submachine gun. Let's get the the uh, the 6P41 Russian belt-fed machine gun. So I'll go ahead and make a, uh, a marker there by clicking on it. And you can see on our mini-map, um, our GPS, aka <laughs> iPhone, iPhone, Google map sort of thing, uh, it, it highlights the, the appropriate road blue. Right now I'm listening to Christmas music. I just got back from uh, Thanksgiving dinner. My wife and I had for family. We've got a fourth dinner tomorrow. Lots of dinners, lots of food. We got company, stay sharp. Um, Yo, we got but I'm playing Christmas music already. We were on our way back down from uh, Northern California and there's this uh, shopping mall called the Citadel off the five and it is it was insane. Backed up for miles, man. It was crazy. All right, so I can show you something else cool to do. Um, you've got three friends, right? You've got three homies that kind of follow you around, so you can kind of stealth your way around. I don't really typically hunt Unidad patrol soldiers just for fun. Um, but see what you can do is you can highlight them, and if you press Q, little numbers appear above their head, and you can kind of mark them. And when you mark them, the blinking will turn to solid, and when they turn to solid, that means the target is acquired by your friends. And so this is the perfect example. You got four enemies right here. I've marked three of them for my friends to shoot, and I'll shoot the fourth one. And as, as soon as I shoot the fourth one, the other three are going to go down with me. So let's go ahead and try this. Ah, oh, one of my friends failed! Oh no, he got him. Nice. So that's cool. Um, I've always been a huge fan of uh, not only shooting games, but tactical shooting games. And... This, this scratches that itch, for sure. And this is kind of like, uh, this is kind of like Grand Theft Auto in a sense where any vehicle you see, we'll know where to find these supplies. you can basically later. commandeer. You can kick him out of the vehicle, like Grand Theft Auto, just like drag the guy out of the driver's seat and yell at him. But every vehicle is basically yours. Unit Dad Patrol, they didn't notice we were different. It's fine. Um, we're running on an ultra wide and everything on ultra as well. Uh, and we're getting about 70 FPS, 69. Yeah, 69 at the moment. This thing is hard as heck to drive. It's okay. The Unidad Patrol's here, but they think we're one of them, so don't pay them no mind. If you look at the bottom left, it says F. If I press F, it just lets my guys lose. It says, you know what, shoot at everything and anything, which is awesome. We got a minigun guy at the top, and then uh, my two other uh, guys will kind of stick their heads out the windows and just fire their guns. So this is what we want. This is, uh, you know what? I think I think I want to go stealth on this one. I don't think I just want to barge in here with this this uh, this truck. I don't think it would end well for us. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's get us this light machine gun to uh, get our collection up. Uh, let's see here. Now if you if you use your scope or your binoculars, you can basically mark enemies. And when you mark enemies, uh, it just makes them easier for you to see. Which is good. Okay, I know there's an enemy up there. I think a wall's in front of him, though. That's why I can't mark him. Watch out, place is rigged with an alarm. Yeah, let's take out the alarm first. I can have someone take that guy out. Uh, there's a cooldown on uh, assigning targets for your for your friends. Sniper up in the tower. So we got two marked. Let's see if we can find a third just to utilize our cooldown. There we are. Sniper. Three. There we go. Say the word. And everyone's good. And go. Boom. Target is down. They're all dead. Perfect. 
And uh, it's, it's one of those things where if you put on your suppressor, all your buddies will put on suppressors. You know, as to... As to, uh... Keep the whole operation uniform as far as, you know, everybody's going in quiet or loud. Alright, so... Apparently this, this light machine gun's in this heavily guarded Unidad patrol area. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and figure this out. It's right in front of us, if you can see on our uh, heads-up display. Alright, let's go ahead and kill this guy. Oh no! Okay, we got him. Um, it's it, the games are very similar in in a sense that if if a dead enemy is found by another living enemy, he'll alert his friends. I can go ahead and shoot out that alarm system, so if uh, if we are detected, they can't call in reinforcements. Oh my! Yeah, we didn't see that guy. I'll take this guy out. Sniper up in the tower. All right. And you basically do all your uh, team commands through the the tap button. So if I was here and all my buddies are back there, I can hold down the tap button and have them go wherever this white circle is on the floor. So let's have them all go right here. Uh, go to. Go. And they should all come towards this area. Hopefully not alerting anybody. Look at this guy, he's wide open. <laughs> but I think we're good. Um, you can see on your mini-map the... Um, the enemies are marked, which is super helpful. It's not always accurate, but that's okay. You're never going to have super accurate uh, details on where where people are. So we, we have another guy over here. The bunker's clear. Oh, there he is. We got two guys. Let's go around the back and uh, we'll try and get him. There are two guys on patrol. Three guys on patrol. Okay. They're all in a straight line, I can just mow them down. Oh! Alright. Okay. For whatever reason, my the last few bullets of mine didn't go through the other two bodies, makes sense. And hit the third guy. So the third guy saw me, turned around, fired a few shots. Uh, even though we killed them all, shots were heard. So hopefully we don't get too many baddies on our, on our case. Oh! And that's kind of right there, as you saw. That's kind of the uh, the awareness meter. If they see you, and the lines close in, they're dead. Uh, if the lines close in, then they've seen you fully. Middle mouse button will switch shoulders, and we'll kill this guy. Where'd he go? He's coming around, isn't he? Maybe? There he is. Ow. Alright, we're good, we're good. Oh! He saw his buddy get killed. Alright, they're starting to radio in people, but we're okay. We're all right for now. If you tag supplies right here, the uh, the tag supplies are basically uh, extra XP skills. You're basically tagging supplies for the rebels to pick up later once you've cleared out a certain area. Okay, I'm hunted, but they don't know where I am. Okay, there's another guy here. We saw him. And the firefights get pretty insane um, if 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 they've got the weaponry at their disposal. Like, we got a man down. they'll they'll send in helicopters for you and Just spotted one with submachine guns. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who? Oh wow. Okay, we got a sniper up here. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Aim a little bit above his head Sniper, to uh, account for dr bullet drop. 
Got him. Nice. Okay, that was a little too low to get a headshot, but we got him. And it looks like we're close to uh, what we want here. Spotted one with submachine guns. Woo! That guy took a beating. But if I look on, uh, if I look on my mini map, it looks like there's no one else Hold around up. here, so we'll go ahead and do me. that. Uh, bunkers usually like this have loadouts. Uh, this little thing right here, we can change your loadout and refill on ammo. And it should be right here. Uh oh. Where'd he go? Uh, I don't see him anymore. I've been wanting one of these. Nice! And you can press I, and you can totally, uh, you can change your weapon loadout right then and there. So if you see your primary weapon highlighted, you can go to the right menu, and there's a whole bunch of things I haven't uh, unlocked yet, which is crazy, because I've spent like 40, 50 hours in this game already. But, um, yep, you've got all these options, you can switch them out. So we got what we wanted. We don't have to take any more lives. Though it's 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 no it's no problem if you do. You just you want to kill everybody, clear the whole thing out. You're more than welcome to. Um, these bunkers right here that are kind of indestructible. Who need that chopper? Stay low. There's uh as I mentioned before, there's uh, ammo refill right here, and it's unlimited. So it's what you could do out. is uh. You could basically rack up your uh, your Unidad want level to max, which is four, and they'll keep sending in soldiers and helicopters and stuff to, to your position to try and flank you out. But you have unlimited ammo here, so if you can just kind of play it smart and keep shooting them as they come, it's basically unlimited ammo as long as you, you know, you're willing to um, just keep killing people and not get super bored about it. Uh, okay, it looked like someone saw me through the window. Get down. Uh, we've got another guy to the... Let's go ahead and run in here. We have some intel on the second floor we want to get. Which is up here. Let's go ahead and download our intel. Hack the computer and we will locate... Rebel Ops. Rebel Ops are the, uh, the guys that are kind of imprisoned down. that we want to keep... Uh, Keep freeing. Let's go ahead and kill that alarm. That's annoying. Hit the dirt, helicopter. And I'll show you what I mean by, you know, just so much XP. Uh, let me go ahead and tag these supplies. And I'll take out my my light machine gun right here with the, the belt fed mag. It's just got a lot of firepower, quick firepower. And we'll just go back here. We'll tell our guys to come right here to regroup. We'll restock on ammo and let's just get our unit at level up. And then I'll show you guys what I mean by how they just keep sending in uh, people. We got a fucking man down. Man down. Man down. Hold on to your shit. Man down. Okay. So, so the Unidad patrol act or react a lot uh, a lot like the uh, the Grand Theft Auto uh, patrol. So looks like my buddies are kind of screwed over here. Grenade! Watch out! Grenade! Grenade! I gotta save my friends. They're all like dead for whatever reason. You can shoot through concrete depending on the weapon, which is cool. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and revive our guys and then we'll, we'll try and get these uh, this free XP. Oh what? They all died right under the open. Nice, not nice. And like any game where you revive your fallen comrade, you just poke them with a needle and they're they're good. Oh jeez. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and heal. Try not to get heal. Ah, uh, try not to get killed in the process. Got you, man. Just 
Hold on. All right, yeah. We're doing a good job here. Let's uh let's go over here, friends. And we'll go inside this bunker and quickly show you Stay down. what we mean. Chopper, hit the dirt. Go. Where's the bunker? Roger that. This is the control center. Here's the bunker. Here we are. Armeria, which is armor. Armor. We'll go ahead and re re up on the ammo and we'll tell our guys to come stack on us. And this is basically it, I mean. Move there. Roger that. Okay, they're on their way. All the uh, purple uh, markers you see on the screen are uh, soldiers. We're at level three, wanted level. You've got all this XP from uh, killing the uh, the reinforcements, and you've got unlimited uh, ammo to do so. So easy, easy money. got three helicopters above us but it ain't no thing for the helicopters down get down chopper grenade get to cover. throw a grenade over there you can blow up their vehicles and whatnot get the dirt helicopter it's a lot of fun this game, I think if I had to give it an overall rating, uh, it is it is polished. The gunfights are awesome, the weapons are awesome, the, everything that's customizable in the open world exploration is awesome. Um, especially playing with a few buddies, since your squad is made up of four people, you can recruit or have three of your buddies who have the same game. Uh, you can all just kind of go around and beat up the cartel if you'd like. Uh, but after a while, if I had to personally say the reason why I took a break was uh, it's just more of the same. You're going into these compounds or these these drug lord homes, and you're 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 either arresting or killing key people in this key key people in the cartel. Um, it does offer quite a challenge. Um, but after a while, it does get a little repetitive. I'd love to try more of the PVP. I, I, they recently came out with that, so I haven't tried that yet. We'll do that in another episode. But if you guys, uh, if this looks familiar or interesting to you, if you've played past Tom Clancy games, you might really like this one. So give it a go, guys. My name's Oinky Poinky. Put probably 50, 60 hours in this game so far, and uh, I'd give it 8.75 8 out of 10. It's good. It's Ds. It's super Ds. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Bye.